Orbital engines and flight engines are both running at optimal levels here. We're ready for combat anytime. I don't doubt the enemy's mothership will try and attack, but you just leave that to us. Understood. Enlighten me on one detail before I go, if you will. Why exactly is Elise on the Courageous? I know you don't approve of my being here, Rain, but please, allow me the privilege of at least watching over you. I won't ask to accompany you like your classmates, I promise. That goes without saying. I know you can use a sword, but not anywhere near the level. All right, all right, we get it. We know you're worried about her, but try and see things from her side. <laughs> if I may be frank, we couldn't ask for a better way to keep you in check than having her on board. <laughs> for once, we're in agreement. <sighs> Damn you guys. Thank you all for your support. As if anyone in here could turn down those doe eyes of yours, young lady. Remember, there are a lot of people here waiting for you to come home safely. So don't you dare do anything too rash. I concur. You need something to restrain you. You too, Valimar. <laughs> Afraid you're completely outnumbered, Reen. You're not going to change their minds, so you might as well just give up and accept fate. Come on, Reen. You should know when to pick your battles at this point in the game. Fine, fine. Thank you, Reen. And everyone else, too. <laughs> Honestly. Oddly enough, I think that little exchange helped ease the tension around here. There's a break in the clouds ahead. Coming out into Heimdall airspace! Whoa! How can something like that exist? Hmm. That thing's gotta be like, what, 800 arch tall? It's called the Infernal Castle. It once appeared during the War of the Lions as well. And from there, it must have been sealed away by Dracul's the Lionheart and the Lands Maiden. What are they trying to do with it? Look, there. is 2500 it's coming this way they've activated their gun turrets they're not even issuing any warnings Cannons and secondary armaments are ready to fire. All crew members, prepare for impact and the effects of G-forces. We would take care of everything here, and we will do so. Please, proceed onward. Patrick, Celestine... We'll be counting on you. Good luck! Back me up, Loggins! Right back at you. Here we go, Emily. Right! <laughs> As a member of the Florald family, I shall not be defeated! And I will gladly fight at your side, Master Vincent. 
Let's go, High Bell. What kind of second years would we be if we didn't help out our underclassmen? Let the battle begin! Rate, we might not have to actually do anything. Sounds fine by me. Still, don't you think it's about time you stopped holding back? <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Oh dear. It looks like we may have to fight after all. Ah. Uh, what's the world coming to when a guy can't even have a smoke in peace? Well then, let's not keep them waiting! Now's our chance. Take care, everyone! May Adios be with you all! Right! right. Courageous! Begin rapid ascent! We need to draw the enemy mothership's attention. Aye, aye, Captain. Way to go, Reen! What great power. Wait! What's that? Is that some sort of spiritual wall? Yes. It's a spiritual barrier. And an incredibly powerful one at that. <gasps> Damn her! Whoa! Looks like it's not going to work. If Valimar can't break through it, there's no way Lammy can. Ugh. Isn't there anything we can do? I think there is. Thanks to the Zemurian ore, I should be able to amplify my power and channel it through my sword. Can you do that, Valimar? It is theoretically possible. Bear in mind that the burden will result in me being immortal for some time. Sorry to ask, but let's do it! Spirit Unification! with Ordeen. Now, everyone, let's get inside! Follow Reen's lead! Understood. Looks like we're just gonna have to leave everything to them now. Good luck, everyone. Adios, please watch over them. Okay, now this is a final dungeon. Words seem to have little meaning at this point. Yeah. All we can do is steal ourselves and get moving. Crow and the Azure Knight are in here, right? Yes. And I'm almost certain Vita is too. 
Duke Cayenne and the Crown Prince are likely accompanying them as well. Zeno and Leo are probably waiting in ambush somewhere around here, I guess. And I wouldn't be surprised if we met one or two Ouroboros enforcers along the way. How are you holding up, Reem? Not too tired? I'm fine, thank you. I have received several hours of rest being required. By my calculations, I should return to peak condition in time for the battle against the Azure Awakener. Good to hear. All right, ready to get moving? This place carries its weight in history, with ties to both the Divine Knights and the War of the Lions. But that doesn't matter, not now anyway. All that matters is that you're here, and you have everyone back at the Academy behind you. No matter what you face here, never forget that. Uh, thank you, Instructor. We won't. Well, with that said, Class 7, our mission is to investigate this strange castle and find a way to return things to normal. Remember, we're also here so we can carve out a future we've chosen for ourselves. And if we want Crow to be a part of that future, it's time we show him just how far we've come by being together. There's no turning back from here. So let's just keep moving forward. Right. Right.